All right, in this example, we've got vectors in component form. So vector A has the components uh, 1, 2, 3. B has components negative 3, negative 4, positive 5. We want to find the vector 3A plus B. And then in part B, we're going to find the length of that vector. So 3 times uh, vector A, that's going to be 3 times the vector with components 1, 2, 3. All we have to do in this case is we just simply multiply each component by the number out front. So 3 times 1 will be 3, 3 times 2 will be 6, 3 times 3 will be 9. So that's our vector 3a. When we do 3a plus b, well, we'll take our vector uh, 3 comma 6 comma 9, that's our 3a. We'll add to that vector b, which is negative 3, negative 4, and positive 5. And to add these, we just add respective components. So we'd have 3 plus negative 3, we would have 6 plus negative 4, and then we would have 9 plus 5. Well, 3 minus 3 is just 0, 6 minus 4 is going to be 2, and then 9 plus 5, that's going to be 14. And now uh, we've figured out the uh, component form for our vector 3a plus b. Let's also go ahead and do the other part where we actually find um, the length of the vector. So again, to find the length of the vector, all we do is we take each component, we square it, and then we add all of those together. So we'll take 0 squared plus 2 squared plus 14 squared, and that's what we have to simplify. Well, let's see, 0 squared is 0, um, 2 squared is 4, 14 squared, that should be 196. Um, so that adds up to 200. And certainly we can uh, start factoring this a little bit, uh, simplify this just a little bit. So the square root of 200, I guess we could write the square root of 200 as 4 uh, times 25 times 2. 2, so 4 times 25 is 100, times 2 will be 200. Well, let's see, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 25 is 5. Can't do much with the square root of 2. So hey, we've got uh, 10 root 2 uh, as the length of our vector.